Please repeat the question. Do you have a better insight into Israel's determination to maintain appropriate security positions against the extremist elements that are openly committed to the destruction of the Jewish state? Well, uh, as you have as you must have heard me now saying that uh, security is one of the two main issues or two main slogans that should be raised now. Uh, and I quite agree, I quite understand the point of view of uh, uh, the security uh, for the Israelis. But on the other hand, it shouldn't be through any compromise on uh, uh, land because it will mean expansion. And in my idea, we shall discuss this thoroughly after that, a uh, 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 few kilometers here or few kilometers there will not provide security. Uh, the intentions uh, that provide security. Peter, Peter Snow. Uh, President Sadat, Peter Snow, British Independent Television News. You have faced very strong attacks from much of the rest of the Arab world for your visit here. You've even been faced with the threat of assassination for what you've done. What do you say to these people? Well, <coughs> I shall not be saying anything to those people. I think I shall be uh, telling my people in Egypt what has happened here. I shall be uh, uh, giving a speech before the parliament after my arrival, a uh, few days after that. Uh, I need not uh, answer all those uh, uh, who have uh, uh, attacked. Well, and uh, let me remind you that after the second disengagement agreement, and for one continual year, I was much more vehemently attacked rather than, than the attacks now. Sir, on the right side. Both questions. Of every man, woman, and child, this means to us national security. We have an experience, a very long experience. In one generation, we lost a third of our people. And in this country, 11 times, we had to defend ourselves against a repeated attempt to destroy us. With such an experience, we will care for our people, for our women and children, as I said yesterday in Parliament. And I think that on this we have almost a complete national consensus, with the exception of one party, the Communist Party, which is completely subservient to Moscow. This is the consensus by the overwhelming majority of our parliament, whether in coalition or in opposition. And this is going to be our attitude during our negotiations. Of course, I can respect a statement made just now by President Sadat. Our land is sacred. And because I respect that statement, may I say, our land is sacred. One second. Once, sir. Gentlemen of the press, gentlemen of the press, we have got. Gentlemen of the press, we've got time for very few more questions. One, I would like. The Palestinian problem, this is directed to the Prime Minister, uh, spoke about the Palestinian problem being the crux of the Mideast conflict, that solving the Palestinian problem. I would like to ask Mr. Prime Minister why you... Uh, we do recognize the Arab nationality in our country, and therefore always say please, to his country, to Cairo. May I 
now sum up this momentous visit. It is indeed a momentous visit. We are formally at state of war, our two countries. As far as I remember, I do not know of a president that a leader of a country which finds itself a state of war with another country paid such a visit to that country, was received with so much warmth, sincerity. The reaction was positive in the government, in parliament, but first and foremost amongst our people. We drove President Sadat and I several times together. We have seen our people on the streets, in the thousands, men, women, and little children. And all of them greeting the president, taking him to their heart. <laughs> our children waved both flags, the Egyptian flag and the Israeli flag. I wish, with your permission, Mr. President, to express my sincere hope that the day is not too far when Egyptian children will wave the Israeli flag and the Egyptian flag. This visit is a real success for both countries and for the cause of peace. This opportunity really to thank uh, Premier Begin, to thank the Israeli people uh, uh, and uh, President Katsir for the very war warm welcome that was accorded to me here. We are in a crucial moment. Let us hope, all of us, that we can keep the momentum in Geneva and may God uh, guide the steps of the uh, of Premier Begin and the Knesset because there is a great need for hard and drastic decisions. I have already uh, 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 I have already uh, I mean took my share in uh, my decision to come here and I shall be uh, really looking forward for those decisions uh, uh, from Premier Begin and the Knesset. Uh, all the best wishes for my friend uh, Premier Begin and his family, and all my deep gratitude to the Israeli people whose welcome I shall never forget. Thank you.